Once I do that, my weapon's committed. I can't do the other shots anymore. Okay. So now we start to put these together. Okay. Can I use you again? I used him before because I want you to see the quadrants on him, the five quadrants. Okay. <clears throat> so facing them. Picture that circle, and it's split. Okay. I'm going to sit unusually low so you can see past me. When I face him, right now, there, that feels better. Because I sat low, I realized, all right, well, he's taller now. So I corrected, so I'm pointing up. So in a way, my circle is actually not here. It's actually up here. OK? When I want to faint, let's say I want to go this way. So take it here. So what I'm seeing now is he's actually facing this way a little bit. This arm is open, so I'm going to slide over here. You guys see the move? Mm -hmm. He shuts down that quadrant, so now to get the arm, he's already got the shield on it. So he did a good thing by shutting down the quadrant. But the disadvantage, and everything has it. This is not his weakness. This is just a fact. To do that, you had to sacrifice some of these. So I can come back here. Now he corrects by doing it. Now, if we do it, we talked about earlier, this breaking timing, there's a timing here. One, two. One, two. If I use half beat, one, see, he's, now he's getting, it's clicking his fighter mind. Because he uses it too. So now he's like, oh, I'll break the timing too. We'll catch back up. Okay. Here's the second thing with movement. <clears throat> One of the tools you're going to use for this. So get your feet back again. Find the cross. Lead leg forward. Sit down on your stool. Okay. Your shoulders. You're going to be relaxed. What I don't want you to feel like is you're like, ah, here I go. This is tense. Oh, well, you're just locked down now. You're sitting. That's why I like the stool example. You're sitting and you're relaxed. Comfortable. Okay? What I want you to do is your shoulders stay above your hips. Slide your hips forward a little. To a certain point, you'll begin to tilt off your feet. That's the point you want to stop just before that. Okay? Go back. Do it again so you feel it. Back. Okay, relax. Now slide backwards. Okay? Yes, it's a little angled. That's okay. And back to the center. Back. Forward. Nice. Middle. Now relax. Now, what I want you to picture again is a bench. You're sitting on a bench, long bench. Okay, so sit on it. You're not leaning on it, you're sitting on it. This, the reason I mention a bench is I don't want this action. This action. So you're sitting on the bench, slide down the bench. Back to the center, slide down the bench. Okay, so now relax a little bit. Everybody grab somebody. You have someone again. If there's an odd, odd person, come join me. Otherwise, everybody grab on. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> okay, again, find our foot position. Find our cross, we put our toes on it. Lead leg goes forward and touches it. We sit down on our stool. Okay, now look at your opponent. For now, just let your arms relax. Focus on this. Look at your opponent. I don't want you to see your opponent. For now, I want you to see those quadrants. Find that circle in his upper chest. Divide it into four sections. You should see five. Okay? Right now, you should feel like your 90 degrees are pointing straight into that circle. Got it? Now, what I want you to do is slide along the bench to your left so you point into the quadrant to the left, your left. And then back to center. I'll slide the other way. Okay. Now, one of you put up for sword and shield. Okay. Make your for consistency. Make your sword hand a fist. Your shield hands open. Okay. I want you who are doing this to find a good stance. Sit down and then relax. Stay in that stance. Your opponent. What I want you to do now is you can see, even though he doesn't hold them or not. You can see the sword and shield in his hand. You can imagine them. 
So now see those quadrants tucked behind that weapon and shield. Sit on your bench. Slide along the bench to your left. Do you see how those quadrants become open? You're now looking around or past his sword and shield. Come back to center, slide the other way. Okay, relax and switch. Okay, same thing, sit on the bench. Find those quadrants against his body. Slide to your left, see the quadrant. Go back to center, slide to your right. Okay, now since you're here, stay that way. The people facing, what I want you to do is you take sword and shield as well. Feel your hand lined up with your shoulder, pointing into that center circle. Okay? What I want you to do now is you're going to sit down so you point into another quadrant. But you notice when you do that, you're kind of in between them. So you're going to sit down and, sl and slide left. Okay, you see how you're pointing at that quadrant? You're not leaning, you're sitting. Okay, back up, sit down, lean into the other quadrant, the other leg. Can you see how the body parts begin to appear from behind people's weapons and shields? Okay, we're gonna do it again up high, sit down, point that weapon through your shoulder into that circle in the chest. If you need to, you tuck your hips so you're pointed there, you've got your 90 degrees. Sit down if the opponent's shorter. Now, slide left and push your hips forward just slightly. Not turn, but forward, so you actually point your weapon hip up into the high quadrant over their shoulder. Okay, back and relax. Do it up into the other shoulder. Okay, it looks like most everybody's doing it. If you have not, switched and try it some. Remember the one that's yeah. pointing here is your weapon hip. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's not, it's not this front hip. If you point the front hip, you turn yourself offline. 